Hey there, good evening, and welcome here to the Prog Monster. My name is Murph, and I am the host of this show. A very scary show tonight, yes. <laughs> okay, enough of that nonsense. Anyways, we're here at Prog Monster to do an episode of Favorites. My name is Murph, I'm the host of this show. So, this is kind of the last episode for my Halloween threesome, I call it. So, the first episode, of course, we know I did my top 10 favorite songs for Halloween. Halloween-flavored rock songs, I guess you might want to call it. I think the second one was 5. Was it a top 5? I think it was a top 5. Could have been a top 10, I can't remember. I think it was a top 5 favorite scary albums, but it could have been a top 10. Uh, memory doesn't work so well when you're old, but I think that's what it was, five. This week, we're going to do 25. Yes, we, I picked out 25 album covers. So these are albums, and we're going to be doing the covers. Which covers are 25 scary, maybe kind of creepy at points, a little bit weird in some places, and somewhere downright kind of wacky um, covers that I have from my collection that I think are very good for a Halloween theme. So without further ado, we're going to start. But, uh, oh yeah, before I forget, um, the one stipulation I had here, these are not in any particular order and they're not my favorites or anything. They're just 25 I picked. But one stipulation is I wouldn't pick more than two from a band. Otherwise, we'd end up like five of the albums from Iron Maiden or something ridiculous. So... I just ended up picking two at the most from any one given band. So today, we're going to start off with the first one. Um, yes, the very creepy Bark at the Moon. That is a creepy album. Actually, the, the makeup job on Ozzy here is fantastic, I think. And of course, you know, all of his covers are kind of scary uh, in some way or another. Def definitely have that werewolf flavor to it, you know, full moon. And him, he's in the middle of changing. Yeah, so excellent choice for this particular show. Bark at the Moon from Ozzy. And then we're going to do another Ozzy album. This is called Osmosis. It's kind of a creepy album with all these kind of little eyeballs and faces and stuff coming out of this guy's body. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of a weird cover. I'll try to get up closer where it's not reflective. I'm trying to find a spot where it doesn't reflect is difficult. There it is. That's good. So Ozzy Osbourne's Osmosis. So there's a couple, your first two. Number three, I always find this album a little bit more creepy than scary, but definitely gives me the cold willies at times. And that's Marillion's Clutches at Straws. And, you know, you could just look at these guys. Not a friendly looking bunch, are they? You know, how many times have you gone into a bar in some town that you've never been before? And it's kind of a dumpy bar and in a rough part of town. And you go in there to maybe just get a drink or whatever. And got a bunch of these kind of guys looking at you. Nope. No, thank you. That's number three. So number four, I always found this kind of a weird album cover. And a little bit creepy at times too. But actually, you need kind of the whole effect. So I'm going to give you both version, both sides of this. Yeah, look at that. Eh? Isn't that kind of weird? It's a creepy... Oh, sorry, wrong side. Kind of a creepy looking thing. Um, I had... I remember reading something about what this was, and now I can't remember, but it, it just... It looks like some kind of mollusk or something that's under the water. Yeah, so this is Pink Floyd's Metal, of course. Absolutely a killer album with a creepy cover. <laughs> so number four... Another kind of a creepy color cover more than a scary cover. It kind of reminds me a little of The Walking Dead. And that's Journey to the Center of the Eye from Nectar. Yeah. Just this, taking a picture of somebody's eyeball up close. Kind of reminds me of The Walking Dead. Yeah. Kind of a creepy cover, but I like it. It's a very good cover, even if it is creepy. So that's number five. So number six... We're going to go to the Iron Maiden well here. Yeah, definitely um, scary as fuck. 
you know, we've got a guy with it's chained, obviously a monster of some sort. Eddie in chains, right? Doesn't even, does he have any, yeah, there's not even any skin on his bones here. It's just pure bone. Yeah, pretty scary one. I love the eyes in this one too, and this is, this is kind of really creepy in some ways. And, and then you've got the album itself, which is a picture of somebody's brain or something that looks like a brain. That's number six. Number seven, also from Iron Maiden. This one, I think, is a classic. Uh, probably their first really good one. This is definitely a Halloween theme, for sure. This creepy Eddie here with an axe in a creepy town with a dark thing. And, of course, it's got to have a full moon. Even uh, Killers is written in a creepy way. And I always wondered, you know, you get... Kind of reminds me of that old um, Grace Kelly and uh, James Stewart movie, uh, the rear rear window, kind of weird, you know, creepy. Anyways, the Alfred Hitchcock movie, right? So fantastic cover, and an album cover is kind of creepy as well. So excellent. That's number seven. Let's see if I can keep track without blowing it. So what we're going to do here is. Uh, Next up is one that you wouldn't have probably expected me to pick, but I always found this kind of creepy, kind of a little bit scary, maybe a little bit intimidating. Jethro Tull's broad, broad sword and the beast here. You got the four faces in the corner, and then obviously Ian Anderson dressed like that troll in the picture. Imagine something like that coming out of your picture, and you got a picture on the wall, and this thing comes out of it. There's number eight. Is that number eight? I think it's number eight. Oh, that's number nine. Sorry, lost track already. So number ten comes from Black Sabbath. Uh, ironically, the one that I wanted from Black Sabbath, I keep forgetting. I, I don't own it anymore. I don't even know where it went. But we'll go with this one, which is almost this creepy guy lying on a bed. Not a very good night for dreaming, I don't think. In actual fact, uh, you've got the opposite on the inside there. With the heaven scene and then the outside is the creepy 666 bed thing from Black Sabbath. So that's 10. That's your first 10. So now we'll do the second 10 here. Make sure I got them here so I don't uh, lose track. Yep. So we'll start with this one from another heavy metal band. I always think this was kind of a creepy album cover. Painkiller from Judas Priest. Almost, it's almost a um, ghost rider with, uh, I love the motorcycle wheels. They're like giant buzz saws, right? And a dragon head on that uh, motorcycle. And then that, whatever that guy is, some kind of dark angel riding on the back of that thing. Anyways, painkiller. Creepy as hell. Like it though. Next up. So that's uh, 10, right? That's 11. Number 12. It's a new album. I haven't opened this yet. I just got it. I just find this kind of a creepy cover here. Sanctuarium, uh, Sanctuary and the album Novala, although I think it's the other way around. I could be wrong. Anyways, um, yeah, you got this creepy kind of giant troll-like creature standing with a lady. Well, now, what is it in his hand? I do not know what that is in his hand. If anybody knows, please let me know. And his hands are creepy as hell, too. See? Look right there. That's creepy. Guy definitely needs a haircut, for sure. Anyways, excellent cover, this one. Just got this album. It's going to be in my new album's purchase for the end of the month. Next up is in a band that I never listen to anymore. I don't like, but the album is creepy as hell. At least the cover is. It's kind of a... Kind of a, a, this is Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. It kind of reminds me of the Grateful Dead, but still kind of creepy. I always wonder why there's five. Was there five guys in Guns N' Roses at one time? I don't even know. But anyways, that one will come in at number 13. So number 14, I just want to make sure I got this count right. Well, actually, that was number 12. So number 13, take one from this best stack here, from Genesis, Nursery Crime. 
You know, a little game of croquet with people's heads. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, kind of different for the time period. It's not something that Genesis got into, but, you know, you see all these heads all over the place on the thing. Yeah, creepy as hell. That's number 13. So number 14 will be from Gentle Giant, the free hand. Adam's family-like uh, thing going on here. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Next up, number 15. Also from Gentle Giant. I chose two from them. I always found this kind of creepy. It's the, uh, the, the better cover of this particular album I don't own, but this one is kind of creepy. It's an octopus in a jar. Yeah, I always found octopuses kind of Halloween-ish, to be honest with you. So there you go, Gentle Giant. That's number 15. Number 16, I had to have this on from Blue Oyster Cult. You could have picked half a dozen albums from Blue Oyster Cult. I just think this one is kind of weird. Cultosaurus erectus. Yeah, kind of that dinosaur look going on, but creepy as hell that those, uh, what looks like a face of a dinosaur. And if you look at the back, you see the whole body, not just the head. Yeah, different, eh? <laughs> so what's that? So number 16, that's number 16. So number 17 from the Scorpions, Blackout. Yeah, kind of creepy. Guy in, uh, just putting his face through a glass, but he's got these forks pulling on his eyeballs, which is, I believe this is Rudolph Schenker that they've got here dressed like that. But I, th I always found this to be a little bit, not necessarily scary, but kind of weird. So that's number 17. So number 18, I'm going to go to my favorite band, Rush. You know, nuclear disaster, you know, obviously cyclone, nuclear disaster. Yeah, excellent cover. And the girl kind of benigns the picture, just this beautiful girl walking in front of a destroyed planet. <laughs> well, that's number 19, am I at now? Yes, I am. So the last one for the 20, we're going to go with this album. Queen's News of the World. Yeah, this is a uh, War of the World special, I think. You know, all these members of the band all kind of crushed by this giant android. Yeah, kind of a different album for Queen. It really wasn't anything they did before or after, but definitely is my favorite Queen album, by the way, as well. So, yeah, absolutely killer album cover. So that's that's 20. Now, I actually have too many, I just realized, but that's okay. We're going to we'll cut one of them. We'll leave that one out. I may give it as an honorable. So the next one up, number 21, from Peter Gabriel, Melt. Yeah, that's 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 kind of creepy, I think. Scary, creepy, almost like a wax museum type thing going on. Yeah, Peter Gabriel's face half melted away. Pretty creepy. Next up, we're going to go with this one from Elf. Yeah, that's kind of creepy, kind of scary, kind of a monsterish, kind of Halloweenish, I think. Absolutely killer from Elf. Which album is this? This is just, I think, their debut album. Excellent cover. And you've got Dio again. But only he's not on that elf. He's now with his own band here. Um, and this is the Holy Diver album. Some monster in the background with a whip and chain. And this poor sucker stuck in front of him. Yeah. Deal. I could have picked a lot of Deal albums for that one. And who could we have not have? How could we not have this guy in the scary things in the Elvis Cooper? This this picture alone is pretty creepy. One of the creepiest guys ever. But this this of all his album covers, he's got some scarier album covers than this. But this one's just really creepy, and it makes you wonder what's going on here. So Alice Cooper. And this is from the inside. Excellent cover. 24. And now number 25. I think we're going to go with this one. The Sonus Umbra album. Yeah, it's this giant. Looks like almost a sumo wrestler sitting on a toilet eating people. That's what they are. They're all people down there and he's eating them. Now I wonder if... 
Yeah, and you got that skull picture in here with an eyeball. Yeah, that's pretty creepy too. And uh, I did have one extra, so I'll give it to you. This one here by Eloy. Uh, planets, so they're in a sphere, and it looks like a wolf. A wolf face in there. And there's a human angel and then a wolf face in front of them, so a little bit scary. So I gave you an extra one. I hadn't planned on it, but there you go. So those are my 25 scary Halloween albums for the... Uh, for my 25 uh, album list here 25 scary weird whatever you want to call them I'll just reiterate them all for you Marillion's Clutches at Straws Iron Maiden's Peace of Mind Nectar's Journey to the Center of the Eye Creepy Pink Floyd's Metal. I'm not sure what that is. I remember seeing it somewhere. I think it's a... Looks like a mollusk to me. Sabbath. Bloody Sabbath from Black Sabbath. Jethro Tull's Broad Street and the... Sorry, Broadsword and the Beast. Iron Maiden's Killers. Guns and Roses. Appetite for Destruction. Sanctuary's Novella. Judas Priest Painkiller. Grab this other stack here. Uh, Queen's News of the World. Rush's Permanent Waves. Scorpion's Blackout. Cultosaurus Erectus from the Blue Oyster Cult. BOC. Gentle Giants. Octopus. This is the jar version. And then you got free hand or thing. All we need is cousin it. Uh, nursery crime for Genesis. I could have thrown in uh, Foxtrot too. It's kind of got that little creepiness going on as well. Ozzy Osbourne's Osmosis. And then his Bark at the Moon. He could have thrown in Diary of a Madman or any one of a half dozen other ones. Um, so I'll give you the last Sonus Umbra. This is their White Out album. Yeah, kind of creepy. Uh, Alice Cooper from... What's this one? From the Inside. Yeah, another creepy looking one. Scary one with Dio's Holy Diver. Elf's debut album. Yeah. That one is actually more creepy than I thought it was. You got Peter Gabriel 3 or Melt, if you want to call it that. I never call it that. I just call it Peter Gabriel 3 and you got Eloy's Planets with the wolf and the wolf face in there and did I miss anybody no I think that's everybody so anyways I hope you've enjoyed this kind of a fun larky type night on favorites which I've got 25 rock albums that are scary weird um, creepy kind of uh, theme going on for Halloween it's a Halloween theme so I hope you enjoyed that. Please hit the like and subscribe and notification bells. Those are much appreciated. And if you want, you can add some albums to that list that I didn't show. I had, like, I could have put another dozen easily. Could have done 50 easy. But I picked out 25 that I thought would uh, suit the show very well. And you can put down ones in the... In the, um, uh, in the comment section below if you want. Uh, I appreciate the time and effort that people uh, take time to do that. It, it makes me know that people are listening to what I'm saying and there's some interaction, which is good because anytime you can have interaction over what's going on, that's always a good thing. Anyways, I uh, thank you for showing tonight and have yourself a good night and we will see you next week on Favorites when I'm going to do another one of my uh, another five uh, great instrumental rock. So we've done a couple of these. We'll do one more just to make it a three. Okay, take care and have yourself a good evening. Goodbye.